friends. I thought that on this day when it's a little rainy, um, a little chilly, we might try some really cool indoor building. Now, what can we build with? If I said that we were going to build with paper, does that sound like a good idea? Mm, maybe, maybe not. But I'm going to show you a really cool way to build with paper that will have you scrounging for every paper cup and plate that you have in the house. And if you don't have any more, you're going to be demanding for some. I'm starting out with a stack of cups, regular wax paper cups. Does this look like something you would want to build with? I don't think so, but let's see. How could we build with these? We could stack them like that. But then we're using a lot of cups and we're not getting very high. What else could we do with them? Um, let's try them upside down. Okay, well, same problem. Not very high. We've used a lot of cups. Uh, okay, so let's try taking them apart and putting them on the table right here. You can line them up like this. Okay, but that's not really building. Now, how can we balance something on top? What could we do? We could try and balance it like that. Uh, oh, no, that doesn't work. How about this? Aha! Ta-da! How to make it higher? Now here, notice we've only used two cups. Whereas before, we used loads of them just to make that height. Let's try and build it higher. Put the cup on top. Ooh, that's hard to do. Oh, I did it. Okay, that's not bad. Quite interesting sculpture too. Let's try another one. Okay, oh, things are getting up. I made it. Hmm. You think I can go further? Let's try it. This is something that you can practice at home. Oh, uh oh. Well, I think what we found is that it's not a very stable structure. Stable means something that will still stay up even if you wobble it a bit or blow on it um, and otherwise disturb the air around it. So let's try something else. Um, how about this? Put these close together and we're going to use two cups now to balance something on top. How about that? Okay. But now we're sort of stuck because we're back to this whole arrangement. Yeah, maybe up, oh, but wait a minute. Maybe if I put another cup here, I can do the same here. And now, look at that. I can put a cup right there. And if I keep making the bottom row wider, I can keep adding cups and make something that's quite tall in the end. Now, that's looking pretty good now. Though I say so myself. It takes a lot of work to balance it, but right now we're pretty uh, uh, uh -oh. well, that's what happens. All right, let's think about how stable our structure is. Let's stand stand a stack of cups up like this. I would not feel so comfortable stacking these up and having them on something that wobbles. You know why? Because the bottom of this cup is smaller than the top. So it's not as steady as if I flipped it upside down. Aha! Now, maybe we can use that to make our building structure more stable. Should we try it? Okay. Try, we'll start out with three cups on the bottom. No, I'll go for four. 
Now, instead of doing this, we're going to do this. Everything is going to be upside down. Ah, uh, much easier to balance. Oh my goodness, I can almost do this blindfolded. Not that I'm going to try that. There we go. Now look, all I have to do is keep adding stuff on the bottom and then I can add to the next level and the next level and I can make everything taller and taller. Whoa! Now what's interesting is, let's do a little math here. Count the cups on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six cups on the bottom. How many on the second row? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One less. So if the bottom row is six and the second row is five, what do you think the third row will be? Let's see, four, you think four? Yes, because that's one less than five. Well, there's only one way to find out. One, two, three, four, you're right. One, two, three. So on top of that, we'll have two. Oh, and then we're going to have one. So isn't that a cool structure? Now we can make a very, very big wall like that. If we put enough cups on the bottom, we can make a wall that goes all the way across a room. And if you build it right, and maybe make it a couple of layers, you can jump over it. See how many times you can jump over it and not have it fall down or knock it over. Now I have a really fun way to change the structure of my paper building. I'm going to use some paper plates. Now on their own, hopeless. But if we put some cups like this, now we're going to use three and it's going to form a triangle. A triangle is a very, very strong structure. It's very wide at the bottom and much less wide at the top. We already found that with our cups, that's a good, stable way to be. But a triangle has even greater um, area at the bottom and even less at the top, so even stronger. So, and I'm using three because we don't want to use up all our supply of cups. Now let's put the plate on top. Are we going to put it like that? Oh, that's not a great idea because the plate is not flat on the bottom, it's curved. So your cups are going to slide off. You don't want that to happen, right? So let's turn it up like that. And now right in the middle of the plate, right in the middle, not at the edges, which curl up, but right in the middle, it's flat. So let's put some cups. Oh, and we were gonna go upside down with those. One, two, three. And with these plates, that fits exactly in the middle of the plate. Now, I could continue working on my cup structure. There's all kinds of things I could do, but let's just build another floor. Make it like it's an apartment building or a multi-story garage. There we go, there's another plate. And again, we don't need more than three. That way we get the maximum use out of our cups and we can build the most floors. So here we go, going up, going up, going up and not coming down. Ooh. So we can continue doing this. We can make a wall 
on either side so it looks like something rather fancy just think of all the different ways that we can use our simple cups and plates to make different structures There you are, that's just one example. Now, why don't you try? See if you can get hold of some paper cups. Don't do this with regular cups or glasses in the house and always ask for your parents' permission. If you have a baby brother or sister, this might be a problem because they are going to really enjoy knocking everything down. That's just who they are. That's how they figure out about the world. But you might want to do it in a place where they can't have easy access to it. Although you can always help them to make it yourself. Have fun with building with paper. You can also, if you get plain cups, you can decorate them. Stickers, maybe with paint, so you can make something very colourful which is really nice when you have a wall. You can also buy paper or plastic cups that come in different colors. And then you can make patterns and all kinds of interesting ways to vary your structure. Have a lot of fun with cups. See you next time.